Hello, Marcia. Thanks for joining us today. I'll start with can architecture be taught and why? I believe that architecture can be taught, but to the right people. Um, as with anything, you know, you have to have the right, the right attitude to be able to, to do architecture and to receive the teaching. Um, you know, I think anybody, once they have a design, a design type of mind or a type of intention can be taught architecture. What is still missing in the architecture education system and what do you see unnecessary to teach nowadays? Um, I think what is missing in the architecture system is, is expanding of context. Um, when, I was in, when I was doing my undergrad, they taught us about Caribbean architecture. It was located in the Caribbean. And then I did my master's in the United States, and they teach us about architecture for this climate. And I think if, if, if it's broadened, because the world is becoming one city, then we can benefit from that kind of education more. How do you push the boundaries of architecture education? I think one of the things that architecture misses an opportunity of is practical experience. They do have practical um, courses, but I think we would, I think students would benefit a lot more if we spend perhaps a year working in an architectural firm as part of the education system. I think that would help us. How can we educate the general public about architecture? Um, with the general public, I think, and this answer is probably, you know, is probably used for most things, like you have to engage the public. Um, architects spend a lot of time enclosed working on their own. And I think, you know, if, they, if we had the opportunity and maybe the mindset to our work ethics to be more public, more in the open, then maybe the public would understand um, would understand what architects do and would be you know engage more with the architectural field. What is the architectural degree worth to you? Uh, to me, it's my formal training. I architecture can be learned purely in the field, but I believe. For me, it's very important that I can say that I have the theoretical knowledge, you know, to back up, you know, my practical skill. And, and so for me, the educational degree is, is that, formal, that formal knowledge that can make me feel that my profession is to the same level as other professions. Okay. Marcia, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.